Hi guys, this is Vicki Bronchetti with Show Dog Prep School. Today I'm going to share with you some of the work I'm doing with my puppy, Rook. He's about nine months old now and he's been showing some concern with strangers. I did enter him in a dog show and took him to the show to get a baseline and see where he was at and he was definitely concerned. So I'm pulling him from shows while we work on this issue just in life, in the world. I want him to learn that people are safe, that no one's going to touch him if he's not ready, and that you know, people are not a scary thing. They're a good thing. I'm going to use classical conditioning and desensitization, meaning that I'm going to be exposing him to what he's concerned about, the people, but at a very low intensity level. And I'm going to pair that exposure with food. So because he's worried, even if he sees them, or at least mildly concerned, I'm going to go ahead and be starting out in the car. So we're going to go to a local park. We're just going to sit in the car where I know there's going to be a lot of activity and people. And every time he sees people, I'm going to pay him. He's going to get food for that. So my goal is to shift his emotional state from, oh, no, there's a scary person to, oh, yay, look, there's a person. Now I get food. So let's see how it looks. All right. We're at the park. Yes. So there's a guy right over there. Rook just looked at him. Yes. I don't even have time to get my clicker out. I just pulled up. I've got food. See how he's like, good. So you see, he looked at the guy. There's a man right over there. Yes. So that's what I'm looking for. Look at the thing that you don't like. Yes. And then when you don't bark at it, I'm going to mark it and pair that with food. So at this point, I'm doing both a combination of, yes, classical conditioning, which is the, just the association, the scary thing, that guy out there, equals he gets food. Yes. Now the guy's kind of shifting. He's he's right outside my window. So if Rook looks over there, yes. I'm just pairing that with food. So every time he sees the guy and the guy's got glasses on and a mask on and he's kind of tripping around, see how he's he's so willing to, yes, to just not look over there now? I like that. I do have food in my hand, right? So he knows I have this. But still, if he looks at the guy... I'm going to pair that with food. Then I'm going to start not saying anything and seeing if he'll look at the guy and then offer to look back at me. So if I'm not going to, if, if he chooses to look at me and disengage from these things that are pretty intense for him, then I'm going to feed him. Yes. Nice job, bud. So at that point, the guy started walking towards the car. He's sort of exercising, so he's kind of pacing back and forth. Now here comes another new person. Nice. So we got a new man here. Why did you go quiet? Now we're starting to build a behavior, right? So it went from, I'm just going to feed you if you look at this thing, to now I'm going to start seeing if you can be quiet in the presence of this thing. So if this guy heads over here, which it looks like he's going to do, can you look at me and be quiet? Good. Now there's a car that just pulled up behind us. Can you see that coming in? So this is could potentially be worrisome for him. Someone's going to get out of that car right behind me. So I'm going to increase the rate of food, meaning... I think there's this... We've got a fair amount of activity here. Okay, they're just readjusting and pulling in. So I'm breaking up treats in my hand because I know that this car next to me, they're going to get out in a second. And he's going to see a person, yes, right behind him. And that's going to be potentially worrisome. And generally, I recommend a super high value food reward. However, this dog is very, very foodie. So, and he's also doing much better. So he's Yes. So the car door just opened or something. Now here comes a guy right here. Yes. I can see him. Can you see him in my side mirror? Yes. Good boy. So now we've got two guys with hoods on, with hoodies. So now the, the rate of food is going to go up. He's allowed to look back there if he's worried. He might bark here. Rook. Yay. Good boy.